Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. Well, it is Tuesday, January 17th, time for another Destiny Weekly Reset. This time around, we have got Iron Banner back. Finally, baby, it's been about five weeks. Cannot wait to get in there and wreck some fools and get some amazing, amazing loot. This time around in Iron Banner, you're going to have access to either the sidearm or the rocket launcher. Now, expect both of these roles to be near god tier roles that Lady Efforty gives us because she's been doing that in the past. I don't expect her to change that formula for today and future. Uh, as far as the armor goes, you are going to be able to get your hands on some like tier 12 stat rolls on chest and gloves. So if you still need improvement on either of those categories, make sure you're doing Iron Banner this week. It is going to launch at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time very shortly after this video launches. So if you guys are looking for me, I'll probably be uh, in there trying to shoot some people in the head, maybe with my new icebreaker. I don't know yet. But before we get into all that, it's time for the feature comment of the day. And today's comment comes to us from Venomex Gaming. It says, watched your OP striker build, tested it myself, and went 20 and 2 and top of the board with each round subbed. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad that build worked out for you. And guys, remember, if you want to be the next feature comment of the day, all you got to do, smack that like button, leave a comment on this video, and you just might be picked to be the next feature comment of the day. First up, the weekly Nightfall Heroic Strike. This is going to be the Sunless Cell this time around, with the modifiers of Epic, Arcburn, Specialist, Juggler, and Airborne. Now with that arc burn, you are going to want to bring that Zalo Supercell. It is the only primary that can be up to 400 light that has a burn in this time. It is arc, so it works out perfectly. Specialist and airborne, if you might want to think about doing some sick jump snipes, you know, that also has arc burn on it, that would be ideal. As the airborne is going to intensify the damage, the specialist will intensify the damage, and the arc burn will also. So. You will get all three modifiers if you can keep yourself airborne while sniping some fools. Uh, it's kind of tough to pull off, but you will get huge increase on your damage if you do so. And up next we have the Siva Christ Heroic Strike playlist with the modifiers of Heroic, Arc Burn, Specialist, and Exposure. So as far as your weapon loadouts, see the Nightfall weapon list. It's the same modifiers basically. So bring in the Zalo, bring in you know, a good sniper or something, and you'll be able to farm this no problem, getting some Treasures of the Dawning and some Legendary Marks at the same time. For our weekly PvP event, we have got the Mayhem Rumble, and we also have Freelance 6v6, either of which can get you some Radiant Treasure and some Legendary Marks as well. One thing I really like about the Freelance 6v6, if you're a solo queue player and you just don't want to take a chance on getting matched up against a 6 stack that just destroys you, this is a pretty cool way to do it. And for those of you still doing the Prison of Elders, make sure you do the level 41 to get your hands on that Sterling Treasure. This of course is matchmaking. Just defeat all 5 rounds, kill the boss, go down into the treasure room, and get your just rewards. And if you're doing any Prison of Elders, you are probably going to be doing the Challenge of the Elders as well. This time around, we have the modifiers of Brawler, Precision, Kill, Bonus, and Grounded. So this isn't too bad of a one. The Precision, Kill, Bonus is pretty easy to rack up a ton of points. So make sure you do that. Get that 30,000 and 90,000 points respectively to get those really nice rewards from Varix. And speaking of Varix, if you are going to be doing any Prison of Elders, make sure you talk to him first and pick up these bounties. You may as well get a little extra House of Judgment uh, rep and experience for doing the activities you was going to be doing anyway. And remember, if you are down in the reef, go ahead and stop and talk to Petra and pick up her bounties if you're looking to rank up your Queen's Wrath reputation. She does have three that are weekly resets and three that are daily. So make sure you go and pick these up and take care of them if you're looking to rank up that Queen's Wrath. For your Wrath of the Machine raid, you have got the Axis Challenge, and that is where we have to super slam to get our supers every time he teleports. So make sure if you uh, haven't completed that yet, do it at least one time to get all your rewards and accolades that come with it. 
down in the tower, make sure you go and talk to Shax as always to get his weekly PvP bounty. This time it is going to be in the Clash match type, which coincidentally is also what Iron Banner is going to be this week. So before you go in and grind all that Iron Banner, please make sure you pick up this bounty. You may as well get a free Nightfall tier reward, you know, while you're doing grinding for that Iron Banner. So we have to complete seven matches, get 50 primary kills, 25 assisted kills, and 25 ability kills. Should not be any problem at all to knock these out if you're going to be doing Iron Banner to grind for those weapons and armor anyway. And while you're down there, you may as well stop and talk to this young gentleman over here. Commander Savala has got your weekly elite bounties. Make sure you pick these guys up. They give you great experience and Vanguard rep. But at the same time, there is one particular one, this guy right here, the Sunrise Bounty. This is what you have to complete to get a shot at getting your hands on the new Year 3 Icebreaker. I was lucky enough and got mine last week. I will actually leave a link to that video right here for you in the upper right hand corner. So go ahead and check that out. I was really excited to get it. It had to grind for about, I think it was five weeks in a row before it finally gave it to me. So make sure you do this, guys. It is worth it to get your hands on such a great nostalgic year one weapon. Although it's not as powerful as it used to be, the ammo regen is a little bit slower. It is still very worth having in your inventory. And while in the middle of filming this video, I get this message. Hmm. Update incoming. It will be updated shortly and it'll shut us down. Looks like we better finish up this video. Down at Fell Winter's Peak, make sure you go and speak to Shiro and pick up his bounties. This is going to be the place to go to get your hands on that Thorn Exotic Bounty. Yes, it's a very slight possibility it can come from completing other bounties, but these four right here are going to be your main source on getting that to proc for you. So if you haven't got it, make sure you do these. And even if you have already got it, not a bad idea to do them. You get a really good amount of Vanguard reputation and experience just for completing them. All right, and last but not least, make sure you go and speak to Tira Karn and see what available artifacts she has for us this time around. So, we have got the Memory of Scory with a uh, complete strength roll. When your super is full, nearby ally supers recharge faster. This is a pretty nice one to have, especially in something like Trials. You have one or two guys running this, and they're able to keep your guys as charged up with your supers very quickly. It's a pretty nice one to use. After that, we have the Memory of Radagast with an Intelligence and Strength roll, gain the ability to reflect energy-based projectiles when guarding with a sword, and also increase your sword ammo capacity. And last up, we have the Memory of Galeon with a Discipline and Strength roll. This is by far one of my favorite artifacts. It gets you the detailed radar, and your radar persists when sighting with your primary weapons. So, it gives you third eye and a little bit of the hunter ability keen scout all rolled into one nice artifact. So, if you don't already have the memory of Galeon, a disciplined strength is not a bad one to roll. So this works very well with a Night Stalker Hunter who usually wants to run Discipline Strength anyway, and this is also the artifact that I choose to run when I'm doing that. So this is a win-win for you. If you do not already have this, highly, highly recommend doing uh, Terra Karn's Bounty to get your hands on this artifact. It is hands down one of my favorite ones in the game right now, so if you don't have one in your collection, make sure you pick it up this week. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, Guardians. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, go ahead and smack that like button. And in the comment section down below, I want to know how excited are you for Iron Banner this time around. The weapons, the armor, it's all fantastic. I personally am looking for a set of gloves that'll be tier 12 with two of my characters, so I will definitely be spending some time grinding in there. But I want to know what it is you guys are after, all right? So... In the comment section down below, do that. Let me know what it is you're hoping to grind for or if you're grinding at all for Iron Banner this week. But as always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one.